today we're gonna make holiday pancakes. I am obsessed with this recipe. So we're gonna add some almond flour, some buckwheat flour, tapioca flour. We're gonna add in some ground flax seed, monk fruit extract or any other type of granulated sweetener that you like, some baking powder and some baking soda, a little bit of salt, and I'm gonna add in some ground cloves and some cinnamon. I love adding this, it really gives it that holiday flavor. And just whisk all of the dry ingredients together. Now it's time to add in the wet ingredients. So we're gonna add in some apple cider vinegar, also a little bit of vanilla extract. We're gonna use a plant milk. I'm using cashew milk I made in my almond cow. I absolutely love making plant milk. There's a link in the description box below in case you wanted to grab one for yourself. And once the batter looks like this, we're ready to start. I love trying out new products and trying to find the best that there is out there to show you guys. So these spatulas, it's a set of three, are heat resistant, they're beautiful. Absolutely am obsessed with them. There's a link in the description box below if you wanna check them out for yourself. I also picked up a set of these caraway pans. This is the first time I'm using it. I've gotta say I was very impressed. Not only did I not add any like spray or butter to this pan, but they cooked very quickly and uniformly. So you're gonna add a little bit of that mixture to the pan. And after a minute or so, you're gonna flip it over. And once the other side is finished cooking, remove it from the pan. Continue cooking your pancakes in batches. This made about four pancakes for me, but you can see that they are quite large pancakes. Alternatively, Make them smaller if you like. Now we're gonna make a holiday topping. This is a cherry topping, it is so good. In a medium saucepan heating up on the stove, we're gonna add in our frozen cherries along with monk fruit extract or any other type of granulated sweetener that you love, a pinch of salt and some water. And we're gonna heat this up on kind of like a low medium on the stove until it begins to simmer. Next, we're gonna add a slurry. So I'm using a tapioca slurry. Alternatively, you could use cornstarch, whatever you like. I did add in a little bit more water also. And when the consistency is like this, it's perfect. These pancakes are so delicious, perfect for your holiday table. Yeah! 